Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you some crazy stuff I come across, and I guess I'm going to start with some CPVC. Now, if you've ever been in some hotels and you tried to back out some sprinkler heads and you can't get them to back out, and they're pretty tough to back out, it's probably because they weren't installed right. And a lot of times, if they're not installed right, it's going to be the glue that runs down in the pipe into the bell reducer, and uh, you can't get that can't get the sprinkler head off so I actually have a video here where I'm trying to back one off and you can't get anything on it for a hold back so it will definitely break the pipe and you really don't want to do that if it's in the wall like this one here yep it's gonna break off dude So I actually have a drop here that I made up, and so when I put my bell on the glue, I held it up like that, that way the glue would run down my, um, my drop here, and that way it wouldn't run into my, my head and my threads. I mean, a lot of times you're trying to hurry up to get the job done, and what they'll do, or what installers will do, is they'll hurry up, glue everything in, put your head in, and they will actually put your drop in so now all that glue is running down into the sprinkler head so one it's going to clog this head up and two you're not going to be able to back this thing out and three these have to get tested so if they can't come out they can't get tested and every one of them is going to have to be changed out and the only way to do it is to cut your pipe right here and maybe put a coupling on with some new sprinkler heads can you imagine how much that's going to cost the customer to do all that to change out over 300 heads in the building. It's pretty insane, so. If I wouldn't have took this head out too early, this glue would have dried up and I would have never been able to get this head off. So, look at that. Let's see if we can get that out. That's, that's not coming up. It's crazy. And let's see if we can't cut this here and get a closer look on the inside. So I don't recommend using cutters because they will break your pipe or crack your pipe. But in this video, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because we're not gonna reuse it. You can see See that? See if you can see the pipe bowing in. So, here's a closer look at the inside of this that I did. We'll just kind of recreate the issue here. So, yeah, see the glue. bad installation as you can see these are the best bell reducers to use because they have a rubber ring in there and what you have to do screw it on no teflon and I actually have the proper head socket for this And snug it up and that'll seal it up and easy enough guys so now I'm gonna show you some other crazy stuff I came across it might have nothing to do with this but it's just some weird odd stuff I come across and I actually came across something online where I googled a uh, corroded sprinkler head and some company had used my video or took took a screenshot of my video and used it, um, I guess, for advertisement on their website. So I want you guys to check that out. I mean, I don't know the rules about someone doing that. I'll actually post a link right up here in the corner or at the end of my video. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to keep them coming. So thanks.
obviously have a storage problem. That's a piece of metal, man. That's a piece of metal. Irrigation. 